What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials and pick up your membership. It is 50 cents a day. Um, today we're going to be looking at an updated version of my live template. Um, just to, uh, to kind of catch you guys up who have been following me on my um, live journey and just um, giving you the info that you need this is actually a viewer request from the homie top choice he was looking at the screen he noticed some things were different and um the man wanted to know so here we go just gonna wait for this thing to load up i probably should have did this before i um i went ahead and brought this up but anyway um i'm gonna be dropping a new midi kit soon it's gonna be uh, another drum midi and this all focuses on like just um just uh doing tight beats and um and just making it real easy i'm going off of you know i'm just i'm just going off of what's popular what's current now um to just get you guys you know just boom right in there in the vibe of what you want um I'm, I'm, i want to go for some somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 midis like uh, full drum tracks, you know, kick, snare, hi hats, percussion, you know, the whole deal. It's it, it's almost up. I'm thinking of a name for it right now. So anyway, this is <clears throat> the new template. Now, if you guys um, want to see more, uh, this is just going to be showing the tweaks that I made. Um, less about how to actually make these things. If you want to see how I made it, go to the Ableton Made Easy um, tab or not tab playlist on on my site and you'll be able or not on my site on my youtube channel and you'll be able to check this out so basically um you know it's all pretty much the same stuff um on the mix bus i am using the glue compressor i'm using the uh, the infected mushroom uh pusher um as my first line of mastering defense then i've got the puig tech coming after that using the levine track warmer preset no tweak and then i'm using the slate digital um plugin uh for the uh um, the limiting the uh I'm, i've been going with um ozone 8 i'm checking it out you know i bought it i was really interested in the 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 customized preset how it'll analyze your track and kind of optimize it for streaming and i like I, I like the tone that it's coming out with but i'm not I'm not really thrilled with uh, with the volume. For me, the Slate Digital Limiter is still the best, so I'm still experimenting with that. Once I once I get it down and I really am able to form a, a real opinion on it, I just don't want to do a video on it uh, right out the gate and not really have a, uh, an understanding of what I'm using here. So uh, through the band bus, I've got my Vox channel. And one thing, one thing that some people might do that that I don't do on this channel is I don't have um, is I don't have them set to um, to choke groups. All right, I just because sometimes these are sometimes these are layer on top of each other, but I could do that if I wanted to. Um, so I, I I will do that on some on some on some. Uh, portions but not on this i have an effects channel where i've just loaded a bunch of my favorite effects all right so nothing too crazy there then i've got i've got my sample channel which this is you know if, I, if i'm sampling or bringing in i actually need to delete these out this, <clears throat> i always do this i always mean to do this but i always forget and um But if I'm gonna if I'm gonna use a you know either a sampled song, or a or something that is um like a like a custom loop or something like that out of uh, out of out of splice or a site similar to that this is this is where I'll load it this is where I'll load it up into this into this channel um i have i have an omnisphere set up a contact five that usually i'm using exhale or signal or something like that i have dune 
um, uh, an instance of Electra, Electra and an instance of Nexus. And that's it for the band channel. Um, and then I also have these three audio tracks right here, which I can use for, um, you know, different audio signals. It's, uh, sometimes, sometimes I use it for like percussion loops or different things like that. Then I have my 808 channel, which I don't have any 808s automatically loaded up, uh, because I don't, for some reason, when I go, when I go, um, out of the drum rack to a MIDI channel, the 808, I'm not able to, to put it in mono and it's not because I don't know how to do it. It's just, it doesn't play nice. So for me, it's easier just to go and search for an 808 rather than have a rack of 808s. And plus when you have a rack of 808s, they're not always in key with the track and it's, it's annoying. This, this for me is faster. Um, I have, I have my kick rack with just, you know, a bunch of my favorite kicks my snare rack, just a bunch of my favorite snares, hi-hat rack, which different hi-hat rolls, um, open hi-hats, rides, etc. And then I have a rack where I just have a bunch of break beats. And sometimes, you know, I'll just use these for like, for example, this tom roll. You know, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and and maybe like put put this piece in a track you know or um this is you know this is more i i rarely use these as a loop i will just have them you know just for these little pieces you know it's really just more or less to sample the individual hits which is the cool thing about having break beats is chopping them up So anyway, yeah, so that's that's kind of like how I have everything set up. So from this setup, I can, you know, I can make a trap track. I can make an R&B track. I can make a boom bap track. I can make a fusion of the two. Um, it's a really it's a really great template. Um, no, I'm not going to include it in the comments or anything like that, because I think it's just better for you guys if you actually know how to use the program other uh, you know other than just going to your favorite youtuber and you know taking their templates um and who knows in the course of learning how to create your own templates you can you know discover things that work for your workflow um as opposed to just doing what i do and again if you if you ever want to save it save a file as a template all you have to do is bring up your preferences go to file folder and then select create uh, save current set as the vault and, and click save and it'll do it for you so yeah man i appreciate all you guys thanks for riding with me this is cmp with craftmaster production studio one tutorials.com keep it simple don't be basic and we will see you on the next one